Welcome to stockmarketfunding.com 7 11 2010 12 35 Pacific Standard Time. And what we have over here is a 10 50 put option for August of 2010. Expiration is 8 21 2010 10 50 put. So basically, when we were selling off in the market, these got a low down here of right around, I can show you exactly what the price was because we were in the trade. And 1760, you could have went long the S&P, and they've gone from there up to $65 a contract. At that time, you could have went long the 1050 put, meaning you buy it, that makes it a long put for you because the put goes up in value and premium you make all of that money so when the markets were selling off this was breaking out to the all-time highs it got up here to sixty five dollars a contract in the deflated or inflated zone and we're coming right back down here and we're setting alarms right now because as we move through the earnings season that 1050 put is also a major 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 support bar that I just did over here on this weekly chart so basically 1050 is right there at half of the SMF weekly bar which will be support but just remember you still have a double week sell signal it's going to take a lot during the earnings season because I've already showed the upper end of these resistance levels and we understand that pops drop and reverse their trend back into their original downtrend when they do gap up here in price or they do run into resistance so we're going to be looking at that put option for August that I just talked about and that gets us right back over here to the 24 uh, that strike of that 1050 based on that weekly chart and that weekly sell signal and look the contracts were $75. They came all the way down here to $17.70. They just popped to $65 in that last two week sell off. They've come down in value because the hot light four day holiday week has bringing them down back in here where we can start looking at buying them again. Okay, and like I said, it's understanding where those key support levels is on the S&P to get the S&P put options welcome to stockmarketfunding.com that is a 1050 put at a major support level that we would buy when the market allowed us to wholesale bid 2310 by 25 dollars a contract 1050 put on the s&p august 